All right. Well, let's uh, talk about ending this rain. We did. What a difference from this morning to this afternoon. We still have a few scattered showers up in the foothills and the snow in the Sierra, but overall, everything's ending. Our first al uh, alert action day will end with lighter winds. Already starting to see some dense fog th form throughout the region. Here's that storm system it's now pushing into the San Joaquin Valley, Southern California. Let's take a look where we're still seeing just a few pop-up showers. You can see right when all of this hits the uh, foothills, we've got uh, that lift there. And as a result, we've got a little bit of snow still at 80, 50, 88, and 89, where we do have chain controls. Look at just a heavy pocket of uh, rain right now along Highway 88. Groveland also picking up some rain. This is storm track as it moves out of the region. We will see dry weather just until over. Overnight, Wednesday into Thursday, and then a stronger storm system Thursday afternoon. Much different winds. You see the light winds in Modesto, and that means a little bit of fog already. Quarter mile visibility in Placerville, also eastern sections of San Joaquin Valley. Here's our Bay Area forecast overnight lows tonight. Still some patchy, dense ground fog as well for Napa, Sonoma counties overnight tonight. Up in the foothills, you already saw some fog starting to form in valley locations in the foothills. Chilly temperature. Sonora, just 34 degrees, 50 degrees in Jackson, 36 in Georgetown, a high temperature of just 48. In Plumas County, we're also looking for chilly temperatures in the 20s. Chester, 37 daytime highs, so a little different picture as that cold air finally began to move in. 19 degrees in Truckee, 16. We'll see some freezing fog in Truckee for sure. We picked up about a half foot of snow in many mountain locations, ski resorts, daytime highs tomorrow will just be in the mid-30s with lighter winds. Just a whole different day than the way we woke up this morning. Temperatures again with some fog tomorrow morning will be in the upper 30s, low 50s uh, by the afternoon. Some sunshine in the forecast. It could be a little bit uh, cloudy throughout the much of the early part of the day in the valley. Seven day forecast, a dry day tomorrow. Then, as we pinpointed, some of that rain returning overnight, Wednesday into early Thursday, and then another round of rain Thursday into Friday. Heavier rain both Friday and Saturday. Our snow levels are going to fluctuate. They will start low and then they'll come up. So, mountain passes may see chain controls, but overall, right now, we're looking for rain all the way up to 7,500 feet. Dry New Year's Day. Great travel day, right, Curtis? Uh, more rain in the forecast Monday, Tuesday, and it just keeps on going. So the storm door, that atmospheric river, is in place. And we can see that on the forecast for the Bay Area foothills and the Sierra dry across the board for tomorrow, bringing in the rain and snow. You can see where the temperatures are, uh, where it turns to rain in the mountains, and then the snow levels come down once again. Dry day on Sunday. So a couple of good days to travel. Otherwise, we're looking at wet weather for the next seven days. The best part of this, Curtis, is we're getting a break from the heavy rain, so we're not seeing any flood or uh, hydrology issues. That's good. Yeah. Sunday may be the day to ski. Yeah, great day. All right, thank you.